I was looking for a podcast platform where I can record um, a textbook series, the audiobook textbook series for visually impaired students. And I came across a lot of other um, podcast platform where I had to pay per hour or even for the space. Um, but I found Anchor to be a uh, best uh, platform for me because I had like hours of textbook audiobook um, uh, content, right? So this platform is uh, pretty good and um, it, it helps you share your podcast in a lot of other platforms also. So that's really great. I mean, I, um, I recommend Anchor very much. Welcome to the audiobook of New Social Studies, Grade 10. Unit 8, page number 306, Economic Activities, Learning Achievements. To be familiar with the planned development in Nepal and major programs mentioned in the current planning. To mention the importance, area and possibilities of tourism and hydroelectric city industries in Nepal. To mention the importance of foreign employment, its possibilities, pre-preparation and precaution. To be familiar with cooperative, insurance, banking and financial institutes. To be familiar with revenue and tax collection process and develop positive attitude towards tax and to be informed about the consumer's rights and application and act accordingly. Subject Matter Current Plan Tourism Industry, Its Importance and Prospects Water, An Important Source of Energy Foreign Employment in Nepal Cooperative and Its Economic Importance Financial Education Financial Devices Insurance Revenue and Tax Collection Consumer Rights Unit 8, Lesson 1, Page Number 307 Current Plan Introduction In general sense, plan is an idea or strategy of achieving objective. A good plan is necessary for achieving targeted goals. In a plan, certain goals are expected to achieve within a specified period of time by utilizing estimated means and resource. Every conscious person makes a plan for achieving goal. Similarly, various plans are made for the development of the country. The plan made by the state for the development of the country with the appropriate utilization of the available resources and means is known as development plan. The plan related to economic activities aiming at growing country's economy is called economic plan. It is the activity of deciding the best way of using capital, labor, and other resources in order to make economy stronger. The history of plan development in the world is not very long. The USSR prepared and implemented the economic plan in 1928-80 for the first time. After this, many other countries in the world began to make and implement plan development. In Nepal, plan development began since 2013 BS with the implementation of the first five-year plan. The National Planning Commission NPC, is the apex advisory body of government of Nepal for formulating a national vision, periodic plans and policies for development. It is headed by the Prime Minister. The NPC assesses resource needs, identifies sources of funding and allocates budget for socio-economic development. It serves as a central agency for monitoring and evaluating development plans, policies, and programs. Now, 14th plan has begun in the country from the fiscal year 2073-2074 to 2075-2076. This is a three-year plan. Features of economic plan Public welfare-oriented objective Definite objective Periodic, Rational Allocation of Resources, Plan-Based Economic Activities Need and Importance of Economic Plan 1. To attempt steady economic development 2. 
to remove unemployment poverty and inequalities among people 3 to provide infrastructural facilities 4 to allocate resources properly between present and future needs and 5 to attain balanced regional development unit 8 lesson 1 page number 308 14th plan 2073-74 to 2075-76 background 14th plan is the first plan prepared after the promulgation of the constitution with federal governing system for the implementation of economic social in principle underlying on it this plan has aimed at building prosperous nepal through reconstruction of the damages caused by the devastating earthquake of 2070 to bs it is oriented to the development of independent and self-reliant economy in coming days by learning the lesson from the effects in various aspects of the economy by disorganized national supply system caused by the obstruction at the southern border. In addition to this, it has set up the Sustainable Development Goal accepted with the commitment to be achieved by 2030 AD passed anonymously by the UN General Assembly in 2015 AD. This is an opportunity also to set up annual programs and plans with the aim to reach Nepal to the level of medium income nations by that time. This plan is expected to address the expectation of people increase after the formulation of new constitution. Vision Self dependent, flourishing, and socialism oriented national economy and prosperous Nepalese. Goal To reach the level of medium income nations passing through a welfare state with social justice. Objective to make socio-economic transformation by rapidly elevating poverty through productive employment-oriented high economic growth and just distribution system. Quantitative goals Some major economic social goals have been determined in the 14th plan as follows. Major economic, social and physical goals The table contains serial number, indicator slash goal, status of fiscal year 2072-73 73 goal of the 14th plan in 2075-76 1 annual average economic growth rate status is 0.8 percent goal is 7.2 percent 2 annual average agriculture growth rate status is 1.3 percent goal is 4.7 percent 3 annual average non agriculture growth rate Status is 0.6%, goal is 8.4%. 4. Inflation rate. Status is 9.5%, goal is 7.5%. 5. Per capita GDP income in rupees thousands. Status is 79.4, goal is 116.5. Unit 8. Lesson 1, page number 309. 6. Population below poverty line. Status is 21.6%, goal is 17%. 7. Human Development Index. Status is 0.54, goal is 0.57. 8. Gender Empowerment Index. Status is 0.56. Goal is 0.58. 9. Life expectancy at birth in years. Status is 69. Growth goal is 72. 10. Population with access to drinking water. Status is 83.6%. Goal is 90%. 11. Secondary level net enrollment rate. Status is 37.7%, goal is 45%. 12. Literacy rate of 15 to 24 age group. Status is 88.6, goal is 92. 13. Electricity generation, install capacity, megawatt. Status is 851, goal is 2301. 14. Population with access to electricity. Status is 74%. Goal is 
fifteen irrigation one lakh hectares status is thirteen point nine goal is fifteen point two sixteen population with internet access status is forty four point four percent goal is sixty five percent priority in this plan priority has been given to production oriented sector infrastructure social and social security sectors environment protection agriculture industrial development tourism sectors and gender equality strategy the following strategies have been adopted to achieve the above vision goals and objectives one to increase the production through agriculture transformation and expansion of tourism industrial and small and medium scale enterprises two to build infrastructures for the development of energy road and air transport information and communication and rural town and tri country connection three to make high and sustainable improvement in human development focusing on social development social security and social protection four to promote the overall good governance through economic social and governance reformation efficient and accountable public finance fair transparent and public friendly service and protection and promotion of human rights five to promote general equality inclusion environment conservation optimum utilization of science and technology and increase its institutional capacity challenge one to elevate poverty soon through rapid economic growth rate and just distribution of those two to increase inhuman development and drive entire economy towards prosperity and sustainable economic social development three to establish nepal as an inclusive and public welfare oriented state based on social justice by removing inequality which may appear along with economic growth four to create sufficient employment opportunity in the country by extending economic sectors unit 8 lesson 1 page number 310 5 to bond agriculture with industrial development by transforming subsistence agriculture into competitive and commercial 6 to make all the efforts of economic social development in accordance with climate change by minimizing the possible risk of disaster and removing energy crisis 7 to establish the construction and development of infrastructure as a source of economic source 8 to integrate the development program ascertain the delivery of public services and its distribution public finance management along with other reforms in the governance 9 to maintain accountable effective and clean development administration through increasing capacity of development management up to the provincial and local level 10 to promote the central planning implementation system by completing the state reconstructing and developing the situation to hand over the leadership to elected representatives for the provincial and local development opportunity one state has entered into the stage of social economic development by getting the political problem solved along with the formulation of the constitution of nepal two there are abundant prospects for achieving prosperity by the rational use of natural resources such as fertile land water resource forest mine biodiversity and geographic beauty 3 efficient manpower is increasing to boost up the economic social development as a result of increasing ratio of active population 4 about half, half of the total economically active population is connected with cooperative and community system 5 there is an opportunity to utilize unused and less used physical and other infrastructures there is a condition in which best result can be obtained from the investment made in social and economic sector till now 7 
private sectors are also ready to play a supplementary role with government as per the government's policy to promote both government and private sector. 8. Non-resident Nepalese along with foreign investment are gradually attracted to invest in Nepal. 9. There is an opportunity of extending service sector along with tourism, foreign investment and export from the rapidly extending middle class population in neighboring countries. 10. Nepal is getting opportunity of additional capital mobilization, technology and knowledge from the entrepreneurship, capital, skill, etc. obtained from the foreign employment. Activity page number 311. Number 1. How is plan formulated at center? Make an inquiry and observation. Present the finding in the class. Number 2. Is the is the aspect of inclusiveness considered while making plan in your family and community? Consult with the seniors and prepare a report. Exercise. Very short answer questions. Number one, define economic plan in a sentence. Number two, mention the objectives of making plan. Number three, when did the planned development begin in Nepal? Number four, when did the current 14th plan start? Short answer questions. Number one, what are the features of current plan? Number two, mention the need and importance of economic plan. Number three, what are the problems that may appear while formulating plan? Number four, why are the plans of Nepal not being able to achieve expected goals? Discuss. Long answer questions. Number one, mention the priorities and strategies of the current plan. Number two, Write a letter to National Planning Commission mentioning the major challenges of the development projects in Nepal. Community work. How is plan formulated in your country community? Make a study observation and prepare a report, then present the report in the class. This is the end of Unit 8, Lesson 1, page number 311. podcast is dedicated to visually impaired students so if you know anybody who needs this book um, to listen and learn please share the link and also please subscribe the channel thank you and all the best